to do a little brief presentation on weighted average inventory. So I have my little inventory guy here, Mr. Lego guy. He's my foreman and he needs to do some inventory. And we're going to use three different methods uh, of accounting for inventory. And in doing that, we're going to be doing figuring out our cost of being sold and our ending inventory. So we're going to start off here. We're going to use some Legos. And each color of Lego represents a different cost layer. Okay, The product is the same product. So we have one product. So all the red blocks here are the same as all the green, as all the orange. It's just a different cost factor. So when we're doing this, our red ones, I have five red Legos. And the cost of those five red Legos are $10 a piece. The green ones, okay, we'll have five green items. And those cost us $20 a piece. And finally, we have five orange Legos, same product, but those cost us $30 a piece. So we are in an inflationary period. And so there we're going to take a look at the effect of inventory. So first of all, we need to know what was our sales. Well, we had sales during the period of 12. So we sold 12 different items. Okay, so how we're gonna, for weighted average, the whole concept, remember, uh, in your reading for what weighted average is, is that we're going to spread the cost of all this inventory equally over all of them. So first of all, we need to figure out what our total cost is. So we have five red ones at 10 apiece. So those five, we have a total cost of $50. Our green ones. Our green ones are 20 a piece, so we're going to have five of those. So we have a total cost for our green items of 100. And then we have finally our orange product, which are priced at $30 a piece. Our total is 150. So because we're using the weighted average, we're going to take and spread that cost equally over all of them. So our total cost is 300. And that we would call that the total cost of goods available for sale. In essence, what's happening is we're taking, I don't have enough labels to show it, but it's like all these different colored blocks, the red ones are no longer red, they're all black. Okay? The green ones are no longer green, they're all black. The orange ones are no longer orange, they're all black. Okay? And so now we have 15 black Legos. Okay, so they're all equal in cost. So then, to figure out our cost of goods sold and our inventory, it's pretty easy. For our cost of goods sold, we're going to take our sales of 12. So we had 12 units sold. We're going to take that times what our average cost is. Our total costs were $300 over 15 items. So our cost per unit is equal to $20 a piece. One thing about accounts, we, when we don't have a calculator, we're not as quick on our feet anymore. Okay, so our unit cost is $20 a piece. We sold 12 of them, so we're just going to take 12 times 20. Okay, and that's going to give us our cost of goods sold of $240. Okay, we have three items left in inventory. Okay. Remember, they're all black now, so they're all at $20 a piece. So our ending inventory, I don't know if you can see it on the board here, but our ending inventory is going to be our three items times $20 a piece. So our ending inventory is $60. Ending inventory goes on the balance sheet, and so that's going to be an item on our balance sheet. The cost of goods sold at $240 is going to be an expense on the income statement. So this is how we do weight average costing.